Hello everyone. Today I am going to do a lecture on a very important topic that is a z-score. And at the end of this lecture, you will be able to understand or to learn what is z-score, uh, what is the formula of z-score, why it is called a standard score, how it differs from the standard deviation, and why do we use the z-score? And I'll give you the example as well. So we'll start with the definition of the z-score. What is z-score? Z-score is basically a way. to compare the results or data points from two different normal distributions now very important thing here is you have to understand the words i have used in the definition it is used to compare the results or data points main thing is the individual data points in a distribution and those data points should be from two different normal distributions different word is very important z score is basically used when you have the two distribution and that are different from each other different means their standard deviation differ their mean differs but we can compare the score of those two distribution or the values of two of uh, those two distribution i'll give you the example as well so stay tuned till end so you can understand how you can compare so you, we usually um, miss thing uh, miss this thing while understanding the z score that the two normal distributions should differ from each other so that we can make the comparison of the uh, two different distribution using a z score so another de the definition that is associated with the z score in terms of its formula is it measures how far a data point is from the mean in terms of standard deviation it means by using the z score you can calculate or you can find how far a data point it means we are concerned with the with the each data point while calculating the z score in a distribution and we have to measure how many standard deviation that data point is from the mean let's have a formula so that you can easily understand this definition as well so the formula of the of the z score that is if you want to find the z score from the uh, raw score or from any data point from of the distribution a distribution basically consists of 10 20 30 40 and up to so on data points and you want to find the z score of any single data point or of all the data points then you need a formula so the formula that will be used is z is equals to data point of to which we are going to convert into the z score data point the value of the data point minus mean divided by standard deviation so if we place all these by the symbols as data point will be represented by x and the mean by mu divided by the standard deviation x minus mu divided by standard deviation and standard deviation represented by sigma by the letter sigma so this is the formula of the uh, of the z score whenever you need to convert a single data point into the uh, into its z score so the here the important things are for calculating this you must have the standard deviation as well as the mean of the given data so that you can easily compare the scores of the two from the two different distributions it means the mean of that uh, of the two distribution will differ and the standard deviation of the two distributions will differ and it is not necessary that the mean is requ uh, required to uh, differ you can also go with the uh, with uh, with the standard deviation that will show that the two uh, distributions are uh, differs in their spread now next question is why it is called a standard score we have heard about the z score is a standardized score um, at various places so it is called a standard score because it is not associated with any unit of measurement it means if you have the two different distributions and you calculate their uh, um, and you are going to calculate their z score for the sake of comparison then they they will have no unit how for example if i uh, say this is a formula we have z is equals to x minus uh, mu divided by sigma basically if you take the height the data point minus the mean will be uh, if if we consider the height it will be in meters and the standard deviation of the height of the given data any data uh, you can take the example will also be meter and when they cancel each other we will have no unit of the z score it means that z score has no unit due to which it make the comparison a standard comparison or it make the score a standard score in which you need not to compare the things on the basis of their units or if or is there any unit involved no there is no unit that is involved 
while calculating the z score so z score is dimensionless you can say that's why it is called a standard score now uh, some at some some people also ask about how it differs from the standard deviation so we know that standard deviation basically tells you about how spread the data is while z score will tell you the posi position of a particular data point within the distribution in terms of standard deviation how let's see the example that will clear your concept concept in terms of standard deviation so standard deviation tells you about a group of data that is in first devi that, that falls in first uh, standard deviation and a group of data that falls in st second standard deviation and so on while z score can tell you particularly that uh, that uh, that for example a, a certain data point the position of a certain data point in terms of the standard deviation that how ma many standard deviation is away from the mean so why do we use z square this is a very important question for you to understand here so let's have an example so that we can uh, understand the basic concept that uh, will be help so let's have an example of two data set for example if i have a so here i have the two diagrams first is for the class a this is class a distribution of mark and the second one belongs to the distribution of the marks of class b so here the mean of both of them is 60 60 as well of class b but the both the classes differ in their standard deviation so the standard deviation of class a is 5 if i write sigma is equals to 5 and the standard deviation of class b is sigma is equals to 20 so it is showing that class b the uh, uh, the data points of class b is more spread as compared to the class a and one of the student and the score of the if i write here the score of the one of the student in the class a is 70 and the score of the student in the class b is also 70 and you need to compare this score in both the classes and you will be asked to find that the score of which student is more impressive either the student of class a who secured 70 marks or the student of class b who secured 70 marks and uh, their distribution differs from each other they are totally different one is one the distribution in one in class b is more uh, spread apart while as compared to the class a so for finding this we need to calculate their so for that purpose we need to calculate their z scores So let's calculate the z scores and compare. So here we will have a z score of class A. Let's calculate it first and then the z score of class B. So in class A, how we will calculate the z score? Z is equals to the data point is seventy and the mean is sixty divided by the uh, sigma that is standard deviation divided by five. So we will get two. Then in the class B, the z score of the data point seventy will be seventy minus sixty. Sixty is the mean. Divided by the standard deviation, that is twenty. So it will be z is equals to zero point five. So keep this in mind. Here the signs are very important. Here we have a plus two and plus zero point five. It means the score of seventy in class A is two standard deviations from the mean, while the score of class B is half of the standard deviation from the mean. This means. that the score of 70 from class a is relatively higher as compared to the score of 70 from class b so i can say that this is higher and this is lower so higher as the sign is plus so we will say higher as it is moving towards plus and if the sign is negative it will be uh, you can say two standard deviation less than the mean but here we have a plus 2 it means plus two standard deviation from the mean so we can say that the score of uh, of 70 in class a is more impressive rather than the score of 70 in class b so this is how you can compare the two scores using the z score uh, method and this is the basic purpose of using the z score z score because telling you how many standard deviation the score is above or below the mean and this is a very informative and this is very informative so Z score help us to draw meaningful con conclusion from the data, as we have seen in the example. So hope so it will help you. So that's all from today's lecture. Thank you.